We have four traders coming sometime today, um, which I'm hoping to sell off a lot of the ratty clothing because we don't have storage. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that they'll give us a bit more room to make more clothes, sell more clothes, stuff like that, you know, so that'd be pretty cool. And I need to make, I need to make more beds, but realistically, I just need to get my people into rooms and I need to enclose some rooms and stuff. So yeah, I figured out how I'm going to get a little bit of the space warm for winter and it's going to involve me moving some of the grow rooms up or down and stuff to make them work like this area here I can enclose this and I could put like a I could put a cooler on one side and I could put heaters in here and open up these doors and they'll kind of solve that problem so that's not too bad but if I put it on the outside and I don't have to worry about like expansions and shit so I might do that they are just stockpiling clothes at the moment so that's great and people are coming past and grabbing stuff too which is really good because they need the clothes except that area is a nightmare uh, but we're at 259 colonists now, and winter's seven days away, so I I need to get them, like, sorted out with, like, some warmth. So what I kind of need to do is, even though I made, like, this grow room and shit, is I'm going to need to move it down by probably two lines. Like, I can move the lights and shit later, but I need to move this, like, down here. I know you're going off to bed mate but can I get you to just move that over I'm gonna need to move put a door here and I don't even know if I've got slate available at the moment but what I need to do is I need to put a door base well a wall basically going along here I'll just put this last little bit as don't build that yet and I want to put kind of like a probably an air conditioner on the end but not right now because I need to put some heaters in here so that I can filter warmth up and I'm going to need to do that on the top side too. I'm going to have to take down these like grow rooms a tiny bit uh, just so that I can accommodate that. So hopefully that's not going to be a big problem. The Actually the other thing too is if I don't do it as a one, if I do it as a two I can add a door. Hold on I might do that. Move that down one more. I mean that this grow room in here will be a bit small. Actually I'll be losing the spot there. I'll tell you what, let's leave this side alone for the hot minute. I'll leave this one because I just need to have at least like one secure grow room over winter. So let's leave that there and I don't know about moving that one but this one I could definitely move this and this should help me. The reason why I want to move it up by two is I can put a door here and that can allow people to exit out and around this end instead of basically walking up a bit further and having to exit through here. So it'll give me an exit point and I want to do that down here but I've got like some super fertile soil going on which is not ideal there but yeah. I'll probably end up mirroring it anyway it won't matter too much. Hey Bubba welcome in. A little hydrate. Get some hydration on. How you doing, Bubba? Is that a little... Is that a dinosaur or a turtle? I gotta ask. I think it might be a turtle. But yeah, this should allow me to get heating in here. Plus, if I heat it right, I could also heat this grow room partially with a vent. Although, that is a risk. Because if any part of this wall breaks, then all my people are cold. And I'm thinking about bringing their living space over to the edge of this. So instead of increasing the space up along the top is I'm thinking about increasing it along the side. I don't really want to have massive like bed areas and stuff like that but I think here might be beneficial because it's like very central. So I think that that's not going to be too bad. We've got manatees having an insulting spree. I'm oh, good, how are you? I'm doing all right, Bubba. I am a little cold because I had a shower. Um, like right before stream so my hair is like still wet and shit and it's winter so it is cold um, but yeah I mean I'm doing okay apart from that I um, I didn't sleep well I had my health soul appointment today and I didn't sleep well last night so I didn't get like good restful sleep for the appointment and when I went out like all my medical stuff's good I'm doing good and stuff which is great 
always good to hear. Um, but then we went for a drive a bit further away and I got like really faint and stuff because I wasn't, I hadn't slept well and I wasn't well going out this morning. So this afternoon or whatever. So yeah, I, um, I had to like sit down a couple of times and then I fell asleep in the car ride home, which is unusual. I'd never fall asleep, uh, in the car ever. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that was news to me. Like it's one of those things where I, I don't let myself fall asleep in case I'm ever the driver and fall asleep in that scenario. But Nick was driving me around everywhere and we were a few hours away from home. So I just, I needed the sleep, which is good. I got some, I got some sleep after all that. Um, I don't know. Mai has probably opened that up. But can you work on the door? Because now they're like freaking out about something. I've got chickens getting roped up for... Where are you taking those, Emmy? Getting hen to hitching spot. That shouldn't probably be in there. I had it in there to try to help with keeping them inside. But if they've got a problem with something, it means they think something is... There we go. It's always this fucking door. Uh, no, I don't want to repair the door. I want you to haul the rice. <clears throat> yeah, so let's get that out of there. So yeah, I pretty much came home after all that and I um, I was supposed to get groceries and stuff, but I wasn't up for it. So we just came straight home and I had a rest barrel. Where are you, mate? That's a really bad spot to do that. There's probably people at a distance in here that are like, ready to like shoot him but let's just get feral down see how that goes hopefully nobody else shoots him let's go keep an eye on this because somebody up the back might try to cool i was gonna say somebody up the back might try to shoot him unfortunately you lot can go back to what you're doing can you rescue i know Aerie's gonna do it but can you do it there we go. Oh, Grim. Grim's stuck there. Yeah, move out of there. Alright. So yeah, that's kind of the only problem with uh, the spaces. They keep dropping shit down the bottom because of the grow room right next to it. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate. And I was wondering if it was to do with harvesting right next to it. But I don't think it is. But I do want to get rid of this in the future. Once we've got this whole place enclosed. And if I could get somebody to... I kind of need one panel of this to come out and one panel of that to enclose. I love those creatures. Um, I also need it to come down by one to enclose that. So what I need is to be actually about here, this grow space, and I'll move it. Oops. I'll have to move that down by one. This whole line up here I'll have to get rid of. So... I'm trying to get people inside. I'm actually thinking about putting additional beds in here. And what I want to do is just for the meantime, so I kind of want to say, I don't want them to be medical beds or anything, but I need those beds to go away and I need the beds that are up the top and outside. I need these beds to go away too. And I need the people to move inside and take up a bed inside wherever um, so that they're not sleeping out in the winter cold. My only other problem too is when these are getting made is I'm going to have the little old problem where they're getting made outside and people are going to sleep in them, unfortunately. That's normal, that's normal. Let's set all of these up as hospital beds. I'll kick them out. Got a couple more beds here to make. I could be making them inside. If I had the space, like I could probably make a couple of beds here and it wouldn't really be a problem. Um, because like people will come and they'll sleep inside while it's getting made. So I don't have a problem with a couple, or uh, don't put it like that. I'll put a couple in here. This will let me keep making it through winter safely, where people aren't likely to fall asleep. Now this is getting made in here. That extra door is getting made. So that's good. Mai didn't finish that. She's just like completely fucked off. Mai, get back here. I, I literally, there must have been an animal walk through it. They'll stop them like every time. I have a bit more red drink. Hold on. But yeah, how you guys been? What you been up to? 
Um, yeah, I don't know. It was a pretty busy day. Um, kind of got like a bit of a busy week this week because we've got art stream tomorrow night and there's only like a little bit of preparation stuff involved for that that I haven't quite done yet. I have drawn shit for it, so that's good. Um, oh wow, what the fuck is going on in here? There's, like, it's trying to count people around it, but I'm not including some of this. It looks like there's about 200 people attending what I assume is a wedding. That's, like, majority of my colony. Yeah, Tredobe and Crow get married. Okay, that's cool and all, but, like, I actually need you guys to work on doing shit, so I hope your party doesn't run long. And who did we have visitor? Rojo King's ship with items to trade. All right. Uh, let's find somebody that's not currently in that wedding party. Esme might be able to do stuff. No, no social. This is going to be a task and a half. I might have to wait to get somebody. Actually, Lincoln can do social. He can't do great social, but he's honestly not the worst person I've got. I know he's supposed to sleep right now, so most of the people that are in beds and stuff are going to be night owls. And there's a whole bunch of people still trying to attend this. Holy hell. I didn't consider the fact that one day this might be full with colonists attending a wedding. It's kind of a good spot for people to potentially like find partners and stuff. Are these already set up? Storage. Yeah, they can store anything. Good. I've only got like one bookstore, um, one bookshelf thing at the moment that's like holding everything. And I think I came to the conclusion that I'm gonna make some of the poker table chairs to be silver or some shit but we ran out of silver I was I was getting tired of the fact we didn't have plasteel so I'm like I'm just gonna make shit out of silver so I did that and now we um we don't have um silver so my trade is going to go very interestingly with the uh the visitors I love seeing them just like take off doing stuff all right you got food medicine food and medicine will help us over winter Great bow. I would like to get rid of the incinerary. Can fuck off out of my colony. Because that's just inviting shit. Let's get rid of all of these crappy. They're basically like disintegrating anyway. Hey, cat. Lays down sad Xbox 360 server shuts down yesterday. Oh, did it? Like the entire thing forever? Let's like, give you some pats. Give Bubba some pats too. Actually, I always forget to pat Bubba. I did hear something about like one of them was going to like cease to exist. It's kind of like when uh, Microsoft decided to stop supporting certain operating systems, and it was like, but I don't want to upgrade. I have finally been here early. Welcome in, Alvric. I'm glad that you finally got in like early, early to like catch most of RimWorld too. I know you're like trying since like last week, so. I'm very proud of you. Good job with that. Um, you haven't missed much. I've only, I've technically only been live for like 15 minutes. So yeah, not missing much at all. Um, I'm just trying to do a sale at the moment. That one's actually, I don't want to buy that. That's theirs. What else we got here? Um, oh, there goes my hair tie. My hair tie has gone flying somewhere. I had it sitting on my desk and I picked something up and it went whoosh. That's fine, I guess. I guess I don't get hair ties. Um, you can't buy new apps and games, movies on Xbox 360. Oh, yeah. No, I understand. Now, that sucks. I kind of hate it when they kind of, like, uh, disable services and shit like that, especially since, like, eventually, you know, eventually it means that they'll probably, like, wipe the ability to use the games and shit that are hosted on it that you probably bought. Um, but, yeah. That's a shitty part about games not being, like, owned and shit anymore. If you had, like, your own, like, CD, DVD or whatever of the game in the background and you could just play it whenever, that would be great. Honestly, I worried when RimWorld had a problem at one point, they took it out of being playable in Australia. Like, you couldn't purchase in Australia. And I was, like, really concerned because I'm like, I quite like playing RimWorld. And I was worried that it was suddenly not going to be... Um, wow, they don't have that kind of money. 
I was not paying attention. I'm like, and also, where is this 9,000 silver? It's telling me I don't have silver. All right, reset all that. I'm just going to have to grab a couple of things if they've only got that. I was not I was not watching that because I'm like, I bought 40 pemmican and I'm like, pemmican's always expensive. So I was expecting that to be a bit, but I will give them the incendiary shotgun thing launcher. I don't want that in my base. The rest of it will just try to get up to a value of about 80 bucks. All this stuff at the beginning is kind of crap. Um, I have every disc of every game for Xbox 360. Nice. Uh, not everybody does. Unfortunately, some people borrow their friend's stuff or family stuff and kind of makes it shit in the long run for like sharing it. Trying to That's sad, but those are not going to financially viable things to keep going for Microsoft. Yeah, no, I know. I, I understand all that stuff. It's just like. It just sucks from like the user's perspective, you know. It's um, I don't know. There's probably people out there that also kind of uh, maybe don't want to have to upgrade and shit. Uh, that's too much. There we go. That's probably about the closest I can do for this. Oh man, let's go find that trader. Hold on, not Trixie. Where was that trade happening? How you been, Trantha? I was going to ask you earlier, but I'm like, I'm sure it's probably the similar answer with um, working heaps. I'm sure that that's most of the answer. I also need to check this doesn't look like it's enclosed. I need to get a roof on this. I, no, 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 I don't want to trade. I want you to, uh, they must just be visiting one. Got off work a little bit ago. Oh yeah. At least you're, um. It sounds like you're kind of getting home and able to like rest and shit. Oh, that's open. Um, I wasn't expecting them to open that. I have to make a decision about this because if I move it down a couple, I miss this like really hyper fertile like line here. I can still probably, I can't use it if I do that. It will stretch. Hold on. I'm going to commit to moving it down. What the hell was that? I'm guessing a boomerlope just blew up. I'm going to commit to moving it down. I think over time we'll have enough stuff. Yeah, try. That way we can have warmth in summer, winter and shit. Cheese. Look. Alright, let me get my stretch. I kind of wish I had little gloves or something because I'm pretty cold. My hands are cold. Um, it's, it is a cold night, like a really, really cold night. But I'm also cold from just like shower and still wet hair and stuff. Like I had a thought about it. I probably could have like blow dried my hair. But I didn't think about it because it's not something I like habitually do. I forget that I own a hairdryer. I most of the time if I could dry my hair after stream and go to sleep sooner I would, but that would involve waking up Nick while he's asleep. Cause I can't really go plug it in kinda anywhere else to use it. So so I'll take winter from you guys. You can have it. Fuck, take it. Take the winter away. Um, you can have double winter. And um, as long as I can like deal with summer this year. Um, my hope is if I can get the air conditioner that we're paying off at the moment paid off before summer, then we can get the other air conditioner for this room installed hopefully for winter. I mean summer. So then I won't be able to close off that. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping that if all things kind of go well, I might actually have um, air conditioning in here in summer and that would be great because I kind of need that. I also don't know how well that thing's working. I don't know how well these will work. Are they connected to power? They are, but what are you connected to? Oh, they're going like the long way around. Yeah, I can't do too much about that. Living in Australia it got cold. Some parts of Australia get cold enough to snow. Where I am is not. Um, like I'm not too super worried about like seeing snow where I am ever in my life. But it would be nice occasionally to like see it. But I don't deal with the cold very well. Typically speaking, winter is like a hard time for me because it's like. We got tropical heat in Australia, right? So, um, 
basically what we're dealing with most of the time is that we are used to warmer climate and humidity and all that sort of stuff so when it is actually cold it is really cold for us um and our houses aren't really designed well here so they're not like properly insulated so it's often colder inside the house than it is outside during um winter so it's not like the most comfortable uh let me move my let me move this thing over my fucking game keeps disappearing as I'm clicking that. We'll almost do. Let's move it up a little bit more. There we go. It doesn't move for you guys, but I move my chat around for myself. Actually, I just covered people's names. Let me fix that. No, no, no. Wrong thing. All right. Let me move it down a bit. Yeah, when I move this thing around my chat window, you guys don't see it move at all because it's locked on stream. But um, I moved around. There is a walk slowly getting in here. And I'm worried it's going to like hunt a cat or something. A bit opposite for me, I guess. I'm uh, moving to Australia. That seems to be like the standard response to most people that find out about Australia. Like we do have spots that have snow. Don't get me wrong. There are parts that get snow and shit. And inside is like pretty like it's like bone chilling cold kind of thing. Like it just seeps in and it never stops seeping in. It's really fucking awful. And I, what are you lot doing? I don't deal with the cold too well because I've got a lot of old injuries and shit. So everything hurts and aches really badly in um, winter. Whereas summer, I can normally stay kind of warm enough. And I, are they hunting boomalopes places? Yeah, in summer, I can normally stay kind of warm enough and retreat to the cold. But last summer, last summer, we had the, um, the air conditioners both die at the same time, right at the start of summer. And that was like critical medical shit for me. So I don't want that crap happening again. If we don't have corpses to, um, to whatever you call it at the moment, cremate, then I want that turned off. I don't mind people working on shit down here, but I'm gonna need a heater in here soon as well. I think I've got a roof on this. This sounds like paradise. I mean, if you like sort of like being like nicely chilled and stuff without snow, then yes, it is. It definitely is. There's a lot of people that feel that way. Um, but like summer, summer gets like really hot too. So summer has like humidity about it as well. So I'll sometimes get like um, bleeding noses and stuff from like the humidity and my anemia gets knocked around pretty hard in, in um, summer. So I don't I don't win seasonally either way. I get like autumn and spring, and that's about the nicest I get. Um it's just like a couple of months. I was looking at building a wall up in here. My only problem with it is I can't actually really seal it off because this part isn't sealed properly, so I don't know how I'm gonna go with keeping this lot warm. Are you guys actually Lol, he's going for Fuentes. Fuentes, just fucking fuck him up. Get done, mate. You're on a nine. Who was the hunter? Clear. I don't know where you're going, mate. Prioritize hunting the thing. You're a good shot. You take it out or Fuentes will do it. You eat snow. I'm watching you, cat. Alright. Yeah, he's got 11 hours. We'll hopefully see him get up to medical stuff. Because Clear had to be the one hunting. They're in this area, so... Actually, I probably don't have a lot, enough electricity for what I want to do. I'm getting there. Fire starting spree, Mantis can go for it. Um, so he may, may kill you. Maybe, if you're not used to like tropical heat. And don't forget, like we have like serious sun here as well. So when it's summer, a lot of people aren't really prepared for how bright and sunny it is. And often get like pretty bad sunburns and shit so that happens too um just gotta be careful with stuff like that We've got an excellent and an excellent i kind of do want to move these in but i do have a lot of beds already let me just pop that in here and i'll move them i'll remove the other beds out of there soon enough i have a few more months before i have to worry about snow thankfully that's good um yeah, I try to remember that, like, Northern Hemisphere and stuff is pretty much 
in summer when I'm in winter. So when I'm bitching about the cold, everybody's like, oh, I wish I was in that. But the thing is, when I get into summer, usually the last summer excluded, um, usually I'm like, you know what, I, I don't care. You guys can keep your winter, <laughs> um, you know. And I'm just happy with summer normally, but last summer was brutal for me. So I had to wait extra months to be able to get my like medical tests and shit done. Um, which I got my medical tests and stuff, my results for that today. And it wasn't too bad. I managed to like bring it up in the extra month that they gave me to like recover. Like I'm not in like, you know, normal people health, but I'm in good health for me. So hopefully when I do my next test, it was enough that I won't have to do another set of tests for um, another three months, which means I see the hospital every uh, I see the hospital every three months, but I don't have to do tests um, until every six months now, which is nice. Um, but I still have to do like the major shit in like a year or two, like the major tests and shit, which I'm not looking forward to. So, eh, it's fine. Let me get some temperature shit up here. That car for Sarge Roam away, I will check that out in a second. Let me get a couple of heaters up in here. I just want like three near here for now, and I kind of don't really want them to be using that door, but I know that them and animals are going to use it. Uh, where is a cow? That doesn't look like that's stuck open, and I bet it's this fucking thing down in here. It's always this door. Mate, can you just go haul the rice? Like, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, they pick up... It's not even always that they harvest it. Sometimes they just drop it there in passing. I'm not sure what that's about. Looks at a pro like, I'm watching you, cat. Here you lurking. Um, yeah, I don't know. These people are doing all right. Hey, my, um... Traders are going away. It's also Uranium Gladius right there. Gladius. Alright, so... I don't want to try to focus on building any of these beds, and I'm trying at the moment to focus on bringing their... Actually, I'll make that a door. No, give me that. I'm trying to focus on not so much enclosing this space, but making it that I can get people moving around it a bit easier. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring in heaters, air conditioning, and try and make sure we've got roofs where roofs need to be. Um, like this area needs roofs. Once they've got that closed off, I'm going to find the problem of them not having the door there. They have got a door down there, so it's not like critical, but we'll fix that up. Jet mate, I know you're probably going off to bed, but can you move the heater down one so we can finish off this wall? I don't even know if we've got enough slate for this. But if I have to, I'll put them in here. Let me turn these off for winter. I don't need those on during winter. And I will get... If I have to, I'll also get a couple of these, like, set up. I don't actually want them, like, that insistent throughout the whole thing. But now that I'm working on a different design, I can get rid of them. So what I want to do is I'm going to have heaters. But I'm also going to put campfires in these zones too and I'm hoping between it all we might have enough warmth radiating up here that it should be like I obviously need vents and shit I don't even know how much steel I've got for this hold on how much steel have I got oh I've got 34 I don't really have enough steel to do that unless I take on a no, I can't. Once it becomes winter, anywhere I go outside of the base um, will require more resources because I'll travel slower. I don't really want to go outside the base because I don't have the resources to spare. So I'm kind of relying on my allies rocking up for it. Although I do have... I have a lot of scrap shit at the moment. I wonder if I can put... I know I'm trying to do this with like some kind of like style to this shit but if I can just move this over I can move this over one probably have a problem with that little hat then what I want to do is production stuff what's the one that does the scrapping of shit 
Metal slag. Probably the mix metal items because it a lot of power. Yeah, I think it's that one. What's the other one do? 